Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your June 2022 reading. So this month is a very beautiful month for you, my uh, Sagittarius. You have your full moon this month, um, around the 14th, I think. Uh, you know, this last six months being built up since your birthday there of um, the light being shed on what was hidden when it comes to your beliefs and all of that. Um, because you rule the house of belief. So that moon is now here to, to show you that, to shed the light through reflection on these maybe unconscious aspects that were there. And it starts a bit with a bang because we start with the tower. So you come in this month destabilized. Okay, there's a lightning that you're receiving that is this destabilizing you, Sagittarius. Um, but for a good reason, okay? After that, we have judgment. So the shaking of maybe a certain way you used to construct things, that you used to... Um, bring about how you perceived life, how you saw what was possible for you or whatever. The judgment after that deconstruction, the judgment will bring up uh, the parts of you that were in fault um, so that you can heal them consciously. And then at the end of the month, you're a page of wands. There you are walking in a brand new manner. What is going to be uh, deconstructed in a way? Here we have the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Pentacle. And I'm going to show right away the one under, which is the Nine of Swords and the Chariot. So let's look at that. If this would be by itself, this would be, oh, there's a new beginning, a seed that can be planted and grown. And I am so... Uh, since I have mastered my unconscious, okay, that's why he's got moons on his armor, and I know exactly what is my alignment. He's got that eight-pointed star on his forehead. I am running with that pentacle to make it a success. My unconscious will not destroy my conscious. Anime, anima will actually walk in the same direction those two sphinx but when it comes to that ace of pentacle and what it is all about i'm all over the place seven of cups i'm projecting oh that's that ace of pentacle is a castle in spain it's amazing and at the same time i can have nightmarish visions of this is my downfall it's all false. It's not real. I'm getting screwed. How am I going to do? What am I going to do here? Anxiety and projection. So you see that the tower has to come and readjust because you can never reach what that pentacle can give you or if it is a pentacle uh, with this thing happening. So under the judgment... We have the Seven of Sword and the Star. And that is the big uh, duality here. Seven of Swords, this is when we get screwed. Can't trust. Life, uh, we have absolutely no power when it comes to what happens to us. I am powerless. Uh, this is like, you know, it's the thief in the night. I'm, I'm being robbed and I have no power over it. This is what happens, okay? And then you have the star be beside it, which is a card of faith, a card of alignment. Uh, so the judgment will bring up the parts of you that have a hard time believing in that. You know, we have two sevens here. There's a real need of mastering the programming, Okay, the baggage. This is the higher mental plane uh, 
overcoming the animalistic side. Seven. It's a master number. So not letting our beliefs, you know, our unconscious beliefs. And that's why, you know, when you rule the house of belief, um, Sagittarius. And not letting our unconscious beliefs sabotage us. Okay? This is sabotage. Okay? Uh, in a sense, like, let's say um, there's this new project with a friend. Okay? Then you start imagining it. And as much as you can imagine that project being amazing, you can also imagine your friend screwing you or uh, the bank screwing you or whatever. Okay? And therefore, when it comes to continuing that pentacle and growing it, you'll all be conflicted about it within yourself. Oh, yes, but and I'm, I'm not aligned. I'm not aligned because I have these things that come and create a force against the first movement. So what the tower is bringing is to actually destroy that so that you can be free of walking forward with your want, your passion, your willpower, without having all that emotional baggage creating beliefs that are actually, you know, putting sticks in your wheels. And you, that tower, you know, it's a lightning that throws away a crown. So the way I used to think things and master my life, poof, no way. The divine is sending a lightning and it's sending a download at the same time. And that download here we have Page of Sword, King of Sword, Knight of Sword. So you are getting it at the end of the month. Not just a little bit like a Page of Sword, but I still have to understand it. Page, King, Knight. You're expressing it. You're speaking it. You become much more, this is throat chakra here, much more mature uh, in your mastery of your life here, in your movement forward. Okay, and here I have the sun. So it can be directly linked to your self-expression here. Let's clarify this for you. Sagittarius, I call upon the divine, I call upon the light, I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Sagittarius for the month of June. One more time. Okay, show me the tower. What is that tower about? And usually the tower will be provoked a bit like an, an, uh, an event that maybe will come to light here. We have our moon. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised that this will happen around the 14, 15, but it brings up an event that is so caricatural of what we need to understand. And you think, oh my God, it is so orchestrated. I, I wouldn't have been able to see it more clearly. Like I needed that to see it. Let's see the tower. All right. Ah, how I hold on to my old pains, which makes me walk around with three swords in my heart all the time. So the little sadness is right. You scratch the varnish, there it is. So when something happens, scratch the varnish, there it is. And it makes me project all the 
maybe the abandonment, nobody loves me, or, or I'm not enough, or, you know, everything that can wound us, uh, treachery, okay? Uh, if, if we've been betrayed before, this is like, oh, betrayal is possible at every corner. I'm going to be abandoned, betrayed, whatever, and, and these are the things that happened. And that's why moving forward is just a question of full of anxiety here. So the tower is going to crumble this four of pentacle. For some of you, it's an event. Others of you, that can be you sitting in your living room during a meditation and getting that lightning download. Okay? We don't always need... Um, events, traumatic events to create an uh, understanding in us, okay? Judgment. Show me the judgment. Uh, well, judgment on that seven of cups. Judgment, you see you have these people coming up to the surface. They were, they're on, in coffins that were in the bottom of the sea. Right now they're like floating. And the trumpet of the angel, which represents a very high vibration, okay? We know sound is a vibration. So imagine a trumpet, a sound that comes from the breath of an angel. So all the parts of us that cannot match that vibration comes to the surface to be addressed. So that inner child, that inner feminine, that inner masculine, that uses their arguments, five of sword, to cut your own legs, to prevent you from actually being able to absorb that pentacle, that solid or that success. That can be fear of success for some of you, okay? Fear of moving forward, fear of having changes in our lives that will random us in, you know, feeling like a naked kid on a white horse. These parts that were whispering in the back, coming up to the surface now. Page of Wands. Show me the Page of Wands. So at the end of the month, you would be maybe feeling like a kid, eh? And yeah, there it is. Okay. It's going to be not all of you. Because I think there's going to be a choice at one point with that knowledge. Okay? And... Um, to release it because the star here is essential she's the water barrier she's the one that's going to release all of that um, suffering okay so that it stops influencing how you see perceive life and what you truly believe within yourself here with the page of wands i have the eight of wands or the eight of swords so, the eights, odd. Am I going to remain stuck in my head? Or am I going to, like the page of wands, start building in action, in fire? Yes, I'm taking that pentacle and I'm planting it with my fire and my passion and I am making it grow. I am moving forward. Let's look at that pentacle here that, that provokes so much. It can be, you know, for some of you, it can be just that, yeah, just to be more in power in your life, okay? Ace of pentacles. Show me the ace of pentacles. Ah, ten of pentacles. Queen of Sword. It affects your perception. Your perception of commitment, your perception of uh, abundance, your perception of long term. And it can also be like an old karma with the Ten of Pentacles because it can come from, you know, many years. But it's the baggage accumulated of many years that now needs to be released so that you can start your next cycle. 
and the Queen of Sword, King of Sword, Knight of Sword, Page of Sword, it's all about how you perceive. And your perceive your how you perceive life is filtered. See, that's why she's got that sword in front of her. It's always you know um, filtered by your belief. If I believe that people are out out there to kind of screw me, I can look at the most amazing person and still see that capacity within them and vice versa okay because there's a, a lot of seven of cups so i could be projecting and dreaming uh fantasy um to escape uh it's the same thing what i'm holding on to that that kind of distorts my perception of what is out there for real is going to be destroyed here chariot so it's a good thing okay and here i have the two of cups and i have temperance and that's you sagittarius so this is to create a deep healing to help you see the bigger picture the bigger picture about yourself how you're moving around in this and about the others in front of you and what they are mirroring to you, okay? To hint the Two of Cups. This is for you to be able to grow, to have connections that would not be, you know, like when it comes to maybe love or friendship or all the connections in my life because the Two of Cups is not limited to romantic love. When it comes to that, I have a lot of projections. Maybe I hurt myself at night when I'm alone. Maybe I have anxiety. And that prevents me from actually growing. Let's look at growing that pentacle. Okay? Changing cycles. That last cycle, I lived it like that. I know exactly what it gives. So, next cycle, it has to be different. Let's look at the Star and the Seven of Swords. Yeah. You gotta release your old sadness. Because if not, that guy who is already slow, Knight of Pentacle, which represents our, our growth. Okay? Knight of Pentacle, him. Okay, they're repeating it here. This guy will have a hard time you know, it's already matter, three-dimensional matter. And it's our growth, our expansion in this, you know. You can grow and expand mentally, emotionally, uh, in your fire of compassion and, and willpower. But physically, is always a bit more slow that night. So if he's got sticks in his wheel in front of him because you're conf inner conflict, because of what you believe uh, and you believe that because you hold on to your past sadnesses and grievings then he's almost stopped that's why it has to be released and that's why the star she's the water barrier and she releases all that water I'm going to align myself with the divine and know that I will be infinitely provided with peace, serenity and all of that. And that is my true self. That's why she's naked. She's not wearing any clothes. She's not the, the husband of, wife of, uh, daughter of, uh, you know, any of that. She's not what she does. She not, she's not what she uh, possesses. Uh, she's not any of this. She's the soul having a human experience. And some of these experiences were painful. And they were hurtful and she's going to release them so that they stop interfering with her she's going to release them turn them bring them back into her heart let's look at that five all right five of wands knight of pentacle because of that process ah six of pentacle three of wands this 
is what is going to allow you to be able to perceive in the future coming towards you something that would be balanced not somebody that would disempower something that would disempower you or be uh, you know crazy visions or filled with anxiety but to actually open up if you look at that character is also somebody that looks in front like this one looks into the future but except that in the three of wands it's clear you can see the arising you can even see the ball the boats coming back with their balls filled with uh, abundance balanced abundance and here i have the hermit because this is all about uh, following your willpower here but that at least if you release all of these old wounds when you're going to refer to what is true within yourself what is your light? What is your truth telling you? It will not be a bunch of hopes and projections and nightmares. It will be what truly your soul is telling you. And it's going to be pretty clear because Page of Sword, Knight of Sword, King of Sword. So all of this in a way it's to clear your perception of what is really in front of you clear your perception of what is really in front of you ace of cup or the devil this is um, if there were parts of you of slavery codependency in your deserving of love in a sense of believing that you have absolutely no power or that you have to um, do certain things in order to deserve love, to be worthy of love, because it's not an inner knowing within yourself. That when a cup arrives or a possibility arrives, here <coughs> your old chains that diminish you uh they come at play so in a way that tower and it's in, it's interesting because it's like if the event to wake you up appears with the awakening and then you realize what was your devil instead of seeing your devil then crumbling and then reaching fate again there's this kind of uh, shock that makes you reassess everything. And if you're realigning yourself with your true self and allowing yourself to really listen, not to your fantasy and nightmares, but to your true um, soul, you will see the devil for what it is. And that is going to free you from a mental prison from trying to control things because you are so afraid to be robbed of value or love or something like that. So, uh, this is a... It's like a reversed awakening, but it's... Um, Understanding love in a way. I think you will understand love on a new level that you haven't before, Sagittarius. Yes. So on this, my beautiful Sagittarius, I'm sending you all my love and light. And if you want a private reading, the description is below in the plus section. There's an email you write to me. I write to you back with the information on how to book a reading with me. Uh, I will never put my phone number in the comments. If you see this, it's not me. Also, thank you for the ones of you who gave donations. It helps more than you think. And of course, on the new moons, I do a ceremony to give you back. And this month, we have one uh, like right for you by the time you get this probably right now or yesterday but anyway uh on the 30th of may 
and we and at the same time with a shower of meteorites there uh, and the next one is on the 29th of June which will be the new moon in Cancer so going to touch that emotional security within ourselves so on this I'm sending you all my love and light namaste and I'll see you next month bye bye